All right, well, let's uh, actually let some of this stuff build. Although our trucks are extremely busy right now, trying to move this coal. So we'll we'll just wait on that. Hold that thought, chat. Like and subscribe for part two, okay? Now, do we get fancy here and use one of them splitters? There's really no point in using that. It's more of a sorter than anything. So no, there's no reason other than I can. <laughs> Right now, we just need like 50% here, 50% there kind of thing. So, yeah. Good, tired, and have a headache. Sorry about that, Chaz. That's unfortunate. Kind of woke up with a headache today, not going to lie. But I think that was because... Um, the uh, house might smell like bleach right now after our little adventure yesterday, uh, fixing stuff in the basement. Some bleach was used, so. Yeah. Just need bigger trucks or more trucks. I know. Uh, I can probably start looking at bigger ones. Move the goats around so hopefully they don't kill each other. I had both is what I really need. All right, I just noticed that Sarge and... Uh, Trent are in the old team speak. Let's go talk to the boys. Hello? Hello? How's it going? Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So, uh, Trent, I know you've been watching. Sarge, I don't know if you've been watching. Just barely. Um, they convinced me to do something, and I don't know if it's a good idea, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. Your giant conveyor belt there? Basically, I'm putting a storage bin at the top of the ramp or this is going to be copper eventually right and so instead of the trucks having to go all the way to the production they just yeah. go there and then conveyor from there that makes also sense less it does less fuel consumption too yeah i didn't i don't know why i've never thought of this now however your conveyors burn power too so. i got power yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> what I don't There's have, a trade -off. what I don't have, is level three construction parts to to make this a thing. <laughs> That's what and... I don't have because I'm trying to build the recycler over here, and it's been trying to build for I don't know a while. Yeah, it takes forever. Yeah, the problem is my Guess... research labs are going to be full of recycling soon. So. Guess what I found out. What's up? You no, know, the uh, microchip area that i had built yeah i'm having to redo it oh no all the nice little storage buildings i had in between each stage uh-huh they don't take them oh no so i'd set it to produce and used all the way up to the input of the building and that was it <laughs> that's fun i turned any more stages on i was like <laughs> not gonna work huh interesting takes the first stage chip that actually takes a different type of building to make yeah but after that the, the one a b all that nope oh wow That's direct input from there huh interesting lowered the footprint <laughs> so I think when I built microprocessors, it was basically just one line of buildings. Yeah, that's basically what I'm going to With no conveyor belts or anything. It was one line, and then it got to the end, and a conveyor belt looped it back around. Or something like that. I forget, but it was a nightmare. Uh, Crazy Bob Driver, I don't need more housing right now because I have 98 extra workers. I should have been paying attention and turned my beacon off a little while ago. Uh, the beacon is what brings you more uh, people. Uh, so I, I should have just turned that off a while ago, but uh, we're okay on our housing for now. I don't really want to. I want to move the town. I just don't know where yet. I, possibly up here. Up here. Eventually get off the, the beach. Although really, I'm not going to dig out like the whole beach, but I will end up digging a lot of it out. So yeah. But uh, ramp projects, am I right? <laughs> Never enough ramp projects yet. 
I know I'm overcrowded, but it's okay. That's okay. Even if even if I lose the eleven or twelve uh, that are overcrowded right now, I'd still have plenty of workers, so I'm okay. I think I'm alright anyway. I hope. Did we ever make any? See, we don't have any glass, but I can't really trade for glass right now because. Really, you know what, chat? I think we just need to hit the old fast time button. And uh, just let stuff happen. You know? I think that's the strategy, chat. And we're going to start slowly um, unlocking some of the stuff to let it build, too. I believe is what we're going to do. So now, technically, do I have to assign the trucks to only to run to these facil the, these storages, or will the trucks just go there because that's the closest one? It go there because it's the closest. Okay. And I know this like, might look dumb here, but like that's the ramp is what's going to be up there eventually come down. Right now, I'm just digging copper to, or digging iron to dig iron. Plugger, hello. How's it going? Welcome on in. actually getting any uh, biomass from the town. Probably need to set that to a higher priority than empty. Damn. You notice, chat, we're like running out of potatoes. It's not that we're out of potatoes. Probably that. Farms are all full and the trucks can't because the trucks are doing 84 other things like trying to empty all these uh, bins up surprised you don't have storages on the farm um none of my farms are like permanent Trent I think I'll probably take this area down here and start working on permanent farms eventually but where they're at now <laughs> that's not not permanent it was kind of just thrown in, so. Don't mind helping out with a little quick build here and there, you know, chat? Just saying. And we're having power issues. What's our issues with power? Mm, what's our problem here? I guess we just don't have... Run out of steam or something? Or is it because I'm burning the bio? Does that not make no, it makes the same? Hmm. Not quite sure what's going on there. Diesel kicking in or what? Diesels are running. This is a scary thought if you think about it. really need to get these bins empty because that's killing our trucking right now. Kill eat our trucks. But we got we got a fair bit of these empty. Really gotta watch that food supply though. It's not that I don't have any food, it's just, you know. Trucks are a little occupied here. That's all it really is. So are they using this bin then? Yeah. I think I have my other one set to a high priority. So technically if I was gonna do this, or I am doing this, I would not put a keep full on that bin, okay. That would make more sense. these ones that are underway. Right. Eight month food supply. Okay. So, can we just tell that to not empty right now then? 
If we tell these not to empty, then uh, they'll go do other stuff. And hopefully one of those things they'll do is haul food. We're about to get in trouble here on food. Seven month food supply. Come on, trucks. Head to the farms. It's not as bad whenever you see it. Zero, that's when you worry. Oh, I don't want a six month food supply. Uh, but you're still alright. Yeah, I you're know. All right. I have the food. It's just hauling it up to the to the storages at the food markets. That's all it is. Whatever you have zero months, zero power. <laughs> zero Anymore. everything. Well, I took a bunch of trucks off a ramp project too, so that'll help. But I think I think it's moving up there. Seven months. Yeah, we're going the right direction now. All the trucks heading that way with food right now. They look like ants with it being zoomed out this far. I know, right? Just a little bit. So the vessel brought back a bunch of oil, by the way. I had it go get um I had it go get oil. From uh from the, the platform. Some crude oil. It has your construction parts for the settlement. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather get some oil unloaded if possible, though. But we need food oil. <laughs> Actually, let's just send that guy out right away. Send the vessel back out. We'll get crude off of it in a minute. It'll be all right. Bean time lull. Yeah, I need to get some different foods going, yeah. Alright, 18 month food supply. Is that all the food? Well, that actually is pretty much everything, isn't it? Oh boy. Oh boy. You know, I think we need to uh, reevaluate life here just a little bit, chat. Wait, that's already been done. Okay, good. I was about to reassign him to dig me a ramp here. Uh, but I already... Already done, done did that. I think we may need some uh, some more capabilities for uh, farming. Farming. Got your permanent farming there. Yeah. Problem is that's so far away too. Food conveyor belt chat. Hear me out. <laughs> I have it. All right, let's get some trucks going again uh, here. And then actually, if y'all notice, chat, they don't have no copper going because they have nowhere assigned to dig right now that they can dig inside their zone. You have a food conveyor, Sarge? That runs like across the entire map. <laughs> okay. No. Do what? Glancing. If you're able to glance. Oh, you got it up right now? Cat, watch this. Hold on. And it crashes as soon as I join. Oh, I joined at the same time, too. <laughs> Didn't it? Sort of put it all in one, then sort of it. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, Waller. Getting the... There we go. All right, chat, is this is uh, Sarge's map here. So you've got this. Okay, you got priority set on stuff, right? Oh. Um, okay. Comes up, and th this is where the permanent farms. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Helps I'm... if I had the right key. <laughs> Comes down. Okay. Broke yeah. corn out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Priority gotcha. in, priority out. Oh, gotcha. They'll throw it back up on here, so on and so forth. Oh, and so it, it will build up. So it takes off what it needs and then puts the excess back on the. Yep. And... Potatoes. Oh, this conveyor belt and it goes away. Mm hmm. Oh, my. Okay. Here. This is your excess then. 
takes corn, wheat, potatoes. Oh wow. Um What are you making there? Ash. Oh. Okay. Flour. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eventually get to bread. Oh wow. Yeah, that's crazy amount of X. stuff, Sarge. This stuff here gets turned into compost. Crazy amount of stuff. Fertilizer. Fertilizer grows plants. Yeah. Hey, I just got Corn tofu unlocked, me. so, you know. I do too, but... Y'all want to mess with some tofu. I'm here for it. Okay, so... Or it makes ethanol, so on and so forth, and then you get plastic, and yeah, everybody's happy. On down the, the chain, right? Okay, so technically... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I have this. Okay, cool. Where are you trying to go right now? Why are we trying to go there? Oh, we got to turn that off. Is that all your microprocessing? Yeah, I had to remove. I had buildings. So you had it all set up and then you had to delete it all? Well, all except for what was initially built. I had to. Building out, move them over. Building, move that. John, it is uh, it is going, man. How are you? Welcome in. Smaller footprint than but. Okay, so now that I've got now that I've got my my um, recycler up and running, farming is the one thing I should be an expert at. Oh, we'll get some farming going. Uh, but now that I have my recycler going, I'm actually starting to build up some level three uh, parts because they were all going there. Try to go do a little bit. I traded basically everything I have away right now uh, for glass because I cannot manufacture glass currently, but I can trade for glass currently. Okay. Did they empty all that oil? No, they didn't empty any of that oil, did they? Keep empty. It's such priority too. Okay. They'll get it eventually. They are running out up here like at an alarming rate. Anyway, that's fine. Um, but yeah, now that we've got this, uh, this was a big project here to get the, the recycler going because that took a lot of parts to build. But now that we have that up and running, uh, we actually need to set these to keep empty at a pretty high priority because we want to keep stuff moving so we can keep the recycler going because eventually we'll get more recycle coming in. But my point is now we have parts to build these giant conveyor belts. Or at least hopefully we will soon. I, I just kind of traded it all away for glass, but. Yeah. Uh, Sarge, Sarge, everything Sarge does is well thought out and well executed. Yes. <laughs> Sarge has quite the map going. Yes. Um, quite an insane map, but really, uh, that's, that's what Sarge does though. We were talking about his engineer brain earlier chat. <laughs> Might have been for a second, Sarge, but all good things. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> all good things. All right. So first thing we're going to do, sure. I guess, is we're struggling on copper here. So let's go ahead and build out the copper system, guys. Um, or tell it to build first. And we'll see uh, how far that gets us. Now, the other thing we need to do then is tell this to not stay full. Or actually, that bin's going to go away. Yeah, this bin's going to go away, but we don't really want to get rid of that until we get the other bin up and functional first. Because that would be bad. Just saying. But we're working on belting right now. We are watching food supply up there, by the way. I have no research running currently. Because uh, the next one is research uh, three. Kind of hold off on that for a minute. We need to get the map in like better shape before we go to that, I think. Um, Are like, you going to turn off the uh, import and export? For what? This Your bin? Bins. This bin, we probably should actually. Yeah, you're right. Because ideally, we'll just have it coming from that other bin, right? Yeah. I have my map set to like three times speed right now. That's why. Uh, that's why trucks are zooming. So, 
because sometimes you just need to like crank things up and uh, let stuff happen. And that's that's kind of where I'm at right now. You can see a lot of red numbers over here. We need to make those green okay? or, or gray. Actually, green is good, but gray is nice and stable as well. So. Okay, so they are using um, that belt already, which is pretty cool. So that should help our copper out a lot. Um, the reason I put that storage here again is because this is going to be our ramp down uh, to our copper mine eventually. Uh, that's going to be the ramp down, so might as well put it there. And then once I get down to the flat, I could put a, a bin down there and a belt up to this bin, which I might do because then your trucks would run even have to run even less. Plus, you need less trucks then probably too, and really less uh, excavators. So I do have them queued up, the bigger trucks. Uh, I am currently, I must have built one. I build one. I have two of them currently. I have two of them. Okay, so here comes that copper uh, ore here. We'll go ahead and delete that bin and delete that belt. Now, priority is still set to scrap copper scrap so but now that we have this and these are all level two conveyor belts we're uh, we're cruising here so hopefully now we won't run out of copper right although there are still breaks in the belt that's okay that's as trucks come over and drop it should be better but ideally we'll get this bin filled up this bin will be our buffer uh basically between the whole thing Okay, so can we go back to, to empty in these, I wonder? Maybe just do like one at a time instead of the whole system. Uh, too many. Uh, let's see, we have some level three parts, so let's go ahead and unpause that stuff as well. That sand just falls for days, doesn't it? And we can make tofu now, chat. Tofu and animal feed, yay. I'm wondering if we ought to put a wall in here. We ought to put a wall in here, right? We should do that. If we're going to do this, we should do it right. All right, stop digging. Stop the digging process. Um, let's see. Let's got to figure this out. We're at two. So that's two, three, four. Five. Okay, go back to digging. We're going to need to fill this in, I guess, a little bit here, right? Pull that back in. What are they what are they allowed to dump here though? Santa. Oh, I actually do that right. Yeah, I gotta fill the whole thing in, don't I, Sarge? Cause the sand's already slid. Yeah. Yeah, you would need to fill the whole thing in. Right, let's just uh You're looking at getting it level. Yeah, I need to start over, don't I? Talking about, like, putting walls in, yeah. stuff like that to keep it uniform. Yep. Well, my problem is the sand's falling in so aggressively, it's probably going to wipe out my conveyor belt over here eventually, right? Depends on how deep you're going. Pretty darn deep. All right, so we just need to fill that in for now. Let's just come over here and dig... Uh dig along this edge. This is all going to get dug out over here anyway. So. Uh, this, okay, so what I'm, what I'm actually working on here is a ramp. Uh, I am working on a bit of a ramp um, down to um, down to, this is the iron, right? This, this kind of red pink stuff here. This is iron. Iron ore. 
So what I need to do, ideally to get all of the iron, I need to get to the bottom of the iron mine. Now I could have this ramp here go down and spiral around and stuff in the iron mine. But the problem you run into is this is iron here. I can't get out, right? So what I like to do is go next to the mine and dig a ramp basically. And then go basically you, you mine from the bottom up in a way. You basically get to the bottom and then you just mine straight over. So you get all of it. Uh, for instance, like on this coal here, big ramp, big ramp. And then, you know, I'm going to be mining coal. I am going to miss some coal here and some up here, but that's just because I have to build walls to keep my stuff from falling in. But I'm not worried about losing a little bit of coal because there's all that coal there. Plus, there's a huge coal vein up here. Plus, you can import coal eventually, too. All right, so we are having uh, massive fuel issues right now, by the way, chat. Um, I really need to get this vessel empty because it has crude oil on it. Um, it has crude oil. It just, uh, I don't want to empty it for some reason. I've got it set on keep empty. I got it set to priority one. Maybe I, you know what? I got to get rid of those parts. That's what it is. The parts were taking it up, taking up the space on the dock. So now we have oil to dock because the dock can only hold. It's 400, right? That's all the dock can hold. Pretty sure that's what it is. Okay, so now we should be good to start moving that crude. Uh, we are out of almost out of crude oil on our own uh, site up here. Um, I will be setting up a vessel eventually, but I was kind of hoping to fill out this corner first down here. Uh, but the problem is now I'm not getting a lot of uh, I'm not getting any fill basically right now. So that progress has slowed um, dramatically. So I might just Fargo that and just build it like in this neighborhood. But I really, really, really wanted it down here. So in fact, let's close off a bunch of that so they're forced to come uh, forced to come down here farther to this corner. I was really hoping to build the oil off of this corner here. Because anything I have built up here as far as oil is going to get moved um, eventually. Worst case scenario, I could go dig up to uh, the oil that's right here. I'd rather not have to do that. And then same thing here. This is going to be another ramp here. That goes down to the uh, copper. I hope that makes sense. I don't know. Okay, but that's uh that's moving along well uh let's go ahead and build that little stub conveyor belt there take off the keep full here in fact just turn off interactions with that and make sure this is set here to take yeah that is set okay Yeah, I just kind of messed up here. I should have just thought this out better and put in a retainer wall from the jump. That would have saved me some time, but it's okay. It's all good. Fuel. It's like, what are you going for? I need to get a fuel station down in town here too. That'll help out a lot. I know everything's complaining about fuel. Okay, we are moving some of that crude though. Yeah, we're, we're, we're fine. Probably put in another uh, refinery for now. Had to put four in. Did you really? At one time I had a fuel crisis. Isn't it funny? You're like, I had a fuel crisis once. Never again. <laughs> well, my problem was they just weren't producing fast enough. Yeah. Oh, I'll end up with like a bunch, I, I assume, at some point, right? <clears throat> this is all temporary up here, so I don't care how ugly it looks. I just need to have a bigger cargo ship. Yeah. 
I thought that attached. It did not attach. Again, don't care how ugly it is. I just need it to work. And like, right now. <laughs> oh, goodness. Actually, am I running into that issue too where this pipe is not going to be able to keep up then? Because these use uh, 54 per uh, 60. They almost forced to go to the big pipe if you're going to feed more than one. You are forced, actually. All right, we should. Our fuel issue should be taken care of, though. To be honest here in a minute. Just need our sand filled in out here. Need to fill in our sand. All right, we have a hundred. Okay, so we have our uh, copper belt system working and our iron belt system uh, are both functional. So that's good, right? Ideally, it's functional. Here comes some iron. Bit of a haul for them still on iron, but not that bad. We could cheat and put another one here if we wanted to. Make it even closer for him for now. Eventually, that's going to be our ramp, so that's where we want it, our storage to be. But right now, we could uh, just cheat a little here. Yeah, that looks real solid, Chat. I, I'm at the I don't care how ugly the conveyor belt stage is. I just want it built. That's where I'm at. Pretty it up later. Big facts, right? Big facts. Pretty it up later, chat. Okay, so we're down to 11,000 colon storage. Um, we can probably go ahead and take these guys out. Only a little bit left in most of these, so that's fine. Then how's our... I okay, see now that we actually have... Um, you know, well, we did have some iron ore here. You know, the iron system is actually getting better as far as keeping up. I mean, there's iron at all of the assemblers. So I don't know if right now we need another iron system. <laughs> might add it in anyway, just to have more capacity. That might be the strat, chat. Might just be. Our scraps moving, so that's good. Not making any scrap currently. Cycling, not scrap. Been playing too much rust. Are not enough rust. Maybe. I don't know. Sarge, all I know is that's a lot of conveyor belts. <laughs> yeah, Ours. it's nuts, and I'm trying to keep it straightened out too. <laughs> Sarge is building a spaghetti bowl right now, shit. But like a clean spaghetti bowl, you know? I don't like hard to look at it with it being in blueprint mode. Yeah, yeah. Hard to tell what's going on, kind of. Especially the conveyor belts. Yeah. Okay, cool. We have plenty of room. Actually, we have extra room to there. But they were sitting on the dock. Never knew where to put them. All right, trucks, come on, get these, get these out of here. But the iron, uh, iron looks to be working. I'd like to see this been full. I like the copper one. That's 
60%. I'm all right with that. We're probably getting backed up though on copper, aren't we? Oh, no, not at all. Not at all. In fact, we could. Uh, probably go for some updated belts, upgraded belts, yeah. That's what really needs to happen in here. We have the parts, so. Might as well. Could help once we get all that. Fine. Okay, uh, so big trucks, right? So here's the problem with the trucks, right? You have to destroy uh, your other trucks to uh, build the big ones. And then you got to figure out, like, okay, if I take a bunch away from a mining project, let's say, well, you better have the trucks to reassign to it because you're just going to be, like, out of luck, you know? So, kind of a process getting everything changes over to big trucks. To be honest. Mm. Which, actually, the, the mining trucks I like to do first. The assigned ones, right? Because those are the trucks that are going to be full. So, having bigger trucks there, you're going to benefit, like, immediately from. Oh, yeah. Are these guys dumping sand here? Or where are they taking it? I feel like they're... This is incredibly slow. He's going for fuel. Oh, you're going to go dump it somewhere else? Probably. Okay, you're digging on the flat down there, right, sir? Sir? I don't think I have anywhere else assigned right now that can take sand. This is the only spot, so... Come on! Problem is the sand is so shallow. I don't really want to dump anything down here besides sand, because that's just going to look weird. So... Oh. Gonna take a little bit to fill that back in. And then really these guys are gonna be digging past the sand here soon. Oh yeah. Just digging. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. Am I digging down here right now? Because I could free those guys up and take them up there. I still have 11,000 coal, so I'm not worried about coal mine right now. As long as I pay attention and remember that I took all my guys off coal. And then I'll be like, why don't I have any coal, chat? Just like that too. I don't know what's going on. Okay, and actually now since we have such a short run for iron, um, we can probably free up like at least a few trucks here because they're just boom, 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 boom. Got that boom, boom, boom. That's going to be great. Then eventually, I'm telling you, once I get these ramps done, I'll totally put a bin down in the ramp, or down in the pit. Let the conveyor belts do all the transportation. I think that would work well. All right, those excavators will get to work when there's uh, room for them. Apparently, there's no room for them. All right, scrap a couple of the big trucks. Let's go, or small trucks, I mean. Cool. Back wheels, no problem, man. You got that boom, boom, boom. 
about all I got for you though, bro. To be honest. All right. Still building trucks. Do we still have fruit on board? We do. See, here's the other problem though. Once you get behind on something like, you know, fuel, um, it, it takes a while to dig out of that hole that you were in, you know? It takes a I while like to recover. Parts. Yeah. Yeah, maintenance is the worst one. Because that's like a slow motion disaster, you know? It happens very slow, but it'll it'll get you if you're not paying attention. It'll definitely yeah, a really steep hill to climb out of. Yeah. Which is why I really should hook all that up and conveyor belt it all. That's okay. All in due time, right? Hook it all up and then hook up the recyclable up. Yeah, once I get the bigger ones, yeah. These don't produce them, but if I upgrade, they would. Not a bad idea. I just don't know where I'd put that run. I mean, honestly, it'd be nice to have it right here somewhere. Because then recycling comes out and goes boom right into the recycler. and uh, Maybe I put that here somewhere. Uh, problem is I want to save room here for electronics. Because we are going to be making more electronics eventually. And then I want to save room here for more uh, construction parts because eventually we'll be making more construction parts. So. What about put it in that L corner? L. What, here? Right next to the research labs. No, that's for more research lab room. Because eventually we're going to, or for more uh, construction, you know, we're going to need higher tier uh, construction or uh, research parts. Research, uh, you know, does that make sense? Uh-huh. Okay. We're going to need higher tier stuff. That's why I left it gapped out like it is. And just keep moving up the chain here. Is the hope. Yo, this conveyor belt for copper, though, chat? Low key, it's working. Not even low key. And you know what? Same thing here on uh, iron. I'm able to keep that full. Which that hasn't happened <laughs> since I started playing this map. To be honest. And we have this opened up here. So we can do the copper or the iron thing if we wanted to. Bring it back. Second. But we are actually doing fairly well. And keeping everything like moving here. If anything, actually, it's concrete now. We can upgrade our mixers. Well, let's go ahead and do that. That'll double the output. What about all that water pipe there, too? What about it? Don't you need to upgrade that as well? It's level two. I can't go to three yet. I mean the down pipes to the actual the mixers. The down pipes. Uh, well, that handles um, 60 per minute. And they're only using 12 per minute on the water. So I would say that we're okay there. Right? Um, we have plenty of crushed slag. Got lots of sand going in. The whole system's running, chat. It's running. We're doing it. We do need to get some farming going here so very soon, though. That'll happen in due time. We're running out of, like, vehicle parts, so what's up with that? we making any of those? I think we are, are we? Is that why we're slowly running out? Because we're not making any? It would make sense, right? can't make uh, level twos if you don't have any level ones. Kind of how that works, right? 
kind of how that works. So I need to keep some of them, uh, those fired up and moving. Okay. Let's crank that priority up because, uh, we're never going to get our, uh, bigger trucks built if we don't have the parts, obviously. A six per that uses six per. Okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine eventually. Yo, Kyle, what's going on, man? How you doing? Welcome on in. What's popping? If nothing else, we are getting. Oh, where's that iron guy going? Oh, 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 steel. I forgot that steel is, uh, it takes iron ore as well. Uh, I was like, where are these iron trucks going? Kyle, I'm doing great, man. Thanks for asking. Who wouldn't well? Big line there, you could also probably just tee it off of there. That's what I'm going to do. I just kind of forgot that, like, obviously that uses, you know what I mean? Obviously, but I just kind of forgot about it. There. Turn that off so the trucks quit running here, too. Pretty awesome. Getting that built right away. Still have 8.7, uh... Probably need to get a few trucks down there to work on that soonish. Down on the coal. Why did I do it like that? That's ugly, but what I do, chat. Build ugly. Oh, don't want that either. You know, there's a. I've been play, I played the game Pharaoh yesterday for a little bit, and there is a button in that game that just makes all the sense in the world to me. There is an undo button in that game. So when you do something you don't mean to, you just hit undo. It's great. Very handy. We'll just say that much. You know that you got your I got what? He cranked wood. I do, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'd looked away for a little bit and I'd look back and I'm like Yeah, I sure do. Okay, uh, so it's intentional. We're good. Yeah, yeah. Honestly what I'm really waiting for right now, Sarge, and I know it sounds dumb, but I'm waiting for uh ramp projects to be done. Ah, oh, gotcha. Like, and that's just a, such a slow process, you know? It can be. Um, that's really what I'm kind of waiting for. Well, kind of waiting for this to fill back in up here. Just saying, that's that's part of what I'm waiting for. Um, but the other part is, yeah, just waiting for a ramp to... I need to fill this in, build a wall, and then dig my ramp. And then on a copper, I'm, uh, I'm getting there. I'm not going to do any walls on that one because there's nothing... Nothing that's going to fall in here. Uh, we're getting down. We're at, you know, four or five. So we're getting there on that one. Um, I know I, I don't have any research going because I wanted to get something going first. I need to get a ship going with oil. Uh, but at the same time, I was kind of waiting for this to be filled in down here, which is very slow because I don't have any extra trucks and stuff working um, down on this mountain range anymore we got all of our excavators tied up with other stuff so that process has kind of ground to a halt we'll say now down to the big 
I am building big trucks. Is that what you're saying? Big trucks? Or bigger, yeah. I'm in the process of doing that, but I have to keep trading away parts, you know, to bring in glass. Because, of course, I can't make glass yet, which is fun. Gotcha. So that kind of sucks, but it's fine. Um, I'm doing a lot better now that I have... I was skeptical, and I'll... Hey, chat, you guys are right. Um, these belts bring in... quite a bit of your world map, too. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've been slowly working on that. Right now, I'm bringing in oil on my ship ship. <laughs> oh, he's finally empty. Okay, he's finally empty, so I'm going to send him back to load some cargo up. Um, is the problem is, oh, this is going to be re really bad here in a minute, I think. What am I down to? Uh, 5%. Okay, we got to start working on this other, uh, this other spot then, chat. I have no choice. That or I just do a ship. Which one should I do? Should I set up my other oil or should I just go do a ship? What would you do, Sarge? Um, now, while I'm on a different map, I ended up going ship because where the next oil reserve was. Ship is long term, and I'm 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 a hundred percent on board with that. But the problem is, if I set up a ship, it's going to be there's no room here for everything I need. I was hoping to have this corner at least to start. I would truck the oil for now, and then eventually down here is where I'd build out my refineries. Well, for now, you got your regular ship to hit the one uh, thing. Yeah, just to keep loading cargo and, and bring it back. Other, got your other um, source there on your island that you could. Or do I just set up a temporary ship here just to take the oil from here and truck it up to my refineries that I have? That's probably okay. what I should do. And then move that down here eventually. Yeah, you could do that. You know. Probably what I should do. That's what we're doing. While you yet. need diesel, you don't need a ton of it yet. No, 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 no. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I need it, but I don't need yet. Like I said, I don't need a ton of sun to sun yet. And before I run out of fuel here in a minute, I might as well get this, uh, get this going, right? So that's going to be uh, Dysel for the ship. That'll fill, fill itself. We'll put some pipe in here. Nope. That's what we'll do, chat. We'll build out a refinery um area um eventually but right now though we're gonna kind of keep it on the temporary uh but yeah ship is definitely long term but like i said i just want room down here because you think about this jet if i fill in down to where i have now or maybe even a little farther and then come across I'll have this entire area to work with as far as um, refinery stuff, which should be plenty. Hopefully. And I actually have a blueprint um, or refinery. Do I not have that? I thought I had it. Yeah, I do. I just don't have all the stuff unlocked. I kind of want to wait till I have all of that unlocked and just build the blueprint. Uh, that's from the website. I kind of want to wait for that. Not going to lie. So, the pipe on the on northern the tank was connected to the wrong port. Okay. Just to keep things symmetrical, we'll, uh, we'll do this. We don't have to, but it's a symmetry. It's a thing, right? You can use either pipe, but we'll keep it, uh, we'll keep it the same. How about that? Okay, so now that is on keep full, right? Okay, so now I need to bring my ship home, right? Let's upgrade that. Uh, 300. Oh, boy. That'll be fun. 
Now, will this ship, like, go do its thing now? Or does it need fuel first? That fuel. Go do your thing, bro. Bring us some oil. Go on, get. <laughs> One thing about the ship, sometimes they don't do what you want them to. They don't get moving as fast as you might want. But it's okay. It's all good. Good, we back at this field back in. Are you... Oh, you're out of places to dig. Oh, no. Okay, I just clicked insanity. What'd you do? Yeah, microchip place. Uh-huh. That you... build it. Oh, God. I just realized I forgot to do something. I forgot to put, forgot to put conveyor belts from building oh, to building. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Funny. All right, we might have goofed up a little bit there by letting them run out of places to dig iron. We'll be okay. So then eventually, chat, we have a conveyor belt that goes from way over here somewhere. Uh, cause you know, this is our other iron deposit, which is huge, but it, actually it kind of sucks because to get a lot of this iron, we're going to have to build a wall first. We're going to have to wall off the ocean. So. Hey, sorry. It looks like you forgot one. But that's okay. Uh, farms do need to get going soon, but oil, I think is top priority right now. There's no trick to making this ship go do his thing, right? Like, but okay. the part now. I don't know if I should have hit that or not, but I did. I really need him to go get some uh, stuff for us. Go now. Go go gadget. There is a way you can uh, join our Discord exclamation point Discord in the chat. Uh, Sarge is live in the general talk and discord um pretty much all the time when i'm when i'm playing this game sarge is also playing when he's here and uh usually he'll go live as well so if i have a question of like hey how did you do xyz i can simply hit this button right here and now we're watching sarge's game <laughs> which is cool i've i've been looking at other ways to make this like higher quality and I think there is a way using that Twitch guest star thing, but like, apparently it's not the best for what I want to do. It's mostly for people with like webcams and not so much people like, um, like gameplay, but it is still something I'm kind of looking into because I think it would be, um, cool if I could bring Sarge's game in like in higher quality because discord streaming is just not, um, not really the strat for me, you know? I'm just saying. All right, so the ship is back with its first round of oil. Uh, so that is good. Now, we need to upgrade uh, the oil rig. And by upgrading the oil rig, what that'll do is give us oil faster. We have quite a bit on board there, but let's go... Upgrade the oil rig a little bit. Okay. Because right now there's just, it's not producing a lot of oil, but that's all right. As long as this bin here stays full, that's all I really care about right now. Keeping that sucker plumb, plumb full as much as possible. There you go. So yeah, if you guys uh, want to jump in and honestly, a lot of nights... Um, I know you can't necessarily hear us talking and stuff, but a lot of nights um, when uh, we're hanging out in TeamSpeak or whatever, somebody's live in, in Discord. Last night we were watching TikToks live in Discord. That was fun. But yeah. Skip, what if I pipe the oil instead of trucking it? Yes. Yes. 
save on trucks, but it gets more of a permanent setup. Yeah, or but I think go in to tear it out. But I think it's gonna be a while before I'm ready to go to my permanent oil setup. You know what I'm saying, Sarge? Because uh, half dozen 160 feather, of course. There's something in this whole system here, this blueprint that I have that I don't have unlocked yet. I that don't... metal one? No. The last one here. Yeah, that middle last one, yeah. I don't have that one either. I don't know. There's something in there I don't have yet, and I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um I would kind of guess I'm not far from it, but I don't I don't actually know. I'll be that right there. Or this. I don't know. It's something, but yeah, it would definitely save on trucks. And, and as you can tell, I mean, most of the time I'm having issues with trucks anyway. So, um, I still need to scrap some more trucks too. Hard to click on the little buggers when you're in high speed mode. <laughs> Very difficult chat. What are we up to? We have nine big trucks, 29 uh, little ones. No, 62. 62 little trucks still and nine big ones. So, or medium technically. Not even the big trucks. So if we pipe from here, we go north. That could work. Yeah, let's let's see how it's spendy, how spendy it is. Because if nothing else, we do have the, uh, you know. What just turned off? Oh, my heater. I was like, what is that noise that I'm suddenly missing? It's freaking cold out again today, chat. Like the pipe to nowhere. Maybe not. Yeah. And this is level two parts, and we actually have a lot of level two parts. This isn't going to cost that much at all, so I'm probably going to be fine with this for now. <clears throat> now, if I wanted to get real fancy with this, I would dig a trench first and bury this pipe, but that would be more of a permanent solution, of course. I think burying the pipes is, is a lot of fun. It's it's very time consuming and very uh well time consuming. <laughs> it's very time consuming, but uh that's okay. And um uh, we will Uh, upgrade that. What's that going to cost? 266. We have the parts. Send it. And then we'll upgrade that little piece of pipe right there. And that'll be level 2 pipe all the way to that bin. Uh, we will put a... Problem is we really need to get our... Uh... Need to get this ship empty. It's got 3,500 on board. Uh, we need to get the ship empty. Oh. What, Sarge? Uh, getting a red symbol here, and I was wondering. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, good. Yeah. Copy the production from the top for now. I think it's cheaper than the pipe. Um. No. Hold on. See, if I move my. I gotta move rubber too, then, right? So let's just you say like all this here. So that would be 262 level twos or level ones, sorry. 100 level two and then right, only 62 and then eight rubber. That actually wouldn't be that bad. Uh, but the pipe's already actually already done and functional and pumping oil. <laughs> uh, that's not a bad idea though. Oh, best. 
The other thing is I do want to like go ahead. I mean, I know we're down to 2% here. Might as well finish it out, you know. Might as well just finish pumping oil here. Okay, so now these dudes are hauling from the boat, right? I just noticed a bunch of tanks going from the boat. Yeah, there. See, he's going from the boat. Okay. Which is fine. We'll get the boat emptied out uh, eventually. And there is uh, capacity here. So I guess the boat is not going to go until that's... Is that full? Is that when the boat actually leaves, Sarge? Do you know? <coughs> like, I can tell the until boat... I, yeah, you can send a boat now, but it will not come back with a full bunch load. of a full load. It'll come back with that 13,000 or 1,300, it, right? It will take off... Yeah. Okay. It will take off when there's enough to fill the ship. Ah, okay. I gotcha. Okay. Which actually for right now is not a big deal. I don't really want it to go because I'm trying to get this vessel emptied out and there's, you know, 3,000 on board. Now I could sit here and trash can it, but that stuff's worth money. I'm not doing that. Just saying. Trent, do you have that website handy for the blueprints? Chief, I don't, I don't. Chief, I like your name, but I kind of don't at the same time. <laughs> For the record. An interesting, uh, interesting Twitch name. Uh, so there's the website for the blueprints. Uh, it's not an official, um, like Captain of Industry website. It is a fan made website from somebody in their Discord, I believe. Uh, but it's pretty, uh, it's pretty cool. The stuff that's on there. Uh, to be honest, thank you, Trent, for posting that. Should probably make that a command, huh? At some point. Okay, chat, what was I going to do now? Farming? 17-month uh, supply on food, and there's only a little bit sitting around, so. Wait. Okay, our iron got, or our, uh, what's this, copper got so much more efficient that the bin's full and the conveyor belt's full, everything's full now? Are we we're caught up on this end? That's what it is. It's amazing when you actually have the product, how like everything can uh, you know keep up. Okay, which means what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these trucks, assign two big trucks over here, and then just start nuking um, these little trucks because we don't need them. Well, we're trying to change the big trucks is what it really comes down to. I think we just get a couple big trucks down here. We'll be fine. And really, probably take an excavator out of here as well. We're going to go down to two excavators because, you know, I have two trucks. Might as well go to two excavators. Kind of makes sense to me. Um, two excavators there. Got a couple working in here. That could use more trucks, actually. Keep that project going. Uh, let's assign an excavator here back to Cole. And we'll get him, uh, some big trucks. Um, eventually. They are in the process of being made right now. Keep them queued up. Keep them moving. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? All right, here comes our oil back. You know what? Honestly, let's pause that really fast. How do you get that ship up to you? There's so much oil on the ship that we're just not using. Might as well try to. Type passing, uh, true. I wish we could take an output from the dock, right? You can go in, but you can't go out.
Okay, so then what if we tell that? Do like boom, 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 maybe? Where are they hauling it to? Let's we'll say, hey, turn that off. No, no interactions here. We say no interactions there, and we say no interactions up here, then they'll be forced to put it in. Ah, uh, that one bin. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you don't have any trucks, I know. There you go, you have trucks, sir. Stop complaining. Diesel down here eventually. Helps if we assign this, huh? Where we keep getting copper from on our boat? Is that when we tear something down? Must be, because our copper's full. That's what it is. There's random sheets of copper on our boat, on our dock, like, all the time. Yeah, there's nowhere else to take it. Yeah. Makes sense. All right, here we go. Now, see, I wish that, you know, this is set to priority one, right? So these same trucks should just sit here and bounce back and forth until, it, like, storage is full. Although they kind of are, so never mind. Never mind. And then they all leave, but that's okay, because that storage is, uh, well, basically full. That's all right. Well, we're gonna turn on that that fuel savings right now on that ship. We don't need that to be uh, really taking up diesel right now. It's going through that oil pretty good though, considering we are still pumping oil. We're down to zero. Oh, we're almost done. Zero percent chat. Well, that's good. We got everything set up and running before we ran out of oil. Just barely. That's all right. <coughs> Just barely. Almost three o'clock, isn't it? Two sixty, two fifty. Oh no, we're running out, chat. Why do we keep having power problems, though? I guess I need to bite the bullet and go ahead for research. And then I could get power generation three. Which would give me the low pressure and then I could have like a whole lot more going on here, right? Although I might have put a conveyor belt in my way. <laughs> Just might have. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, we don't have anywhere to dump sand. That is fine. We can dump it over here. Okay, so that's actually good then. We can stop this project here. Stop this here. And then we want to figure out where we're going to be building. That's going to go right there, I guess. Put our wall in. Just build a wall along all that there. And probably move those towers I guess although really time we get here we could turn and head in right yeah because there's no iron down here anyway so that's fine Does that work, or do I have to have a corner piece? I have to, right? That's not going to work, right? You would want a corner piece? Okay. And then that'll work there. 
there. I think all your others are off by one. What do you mean? The ones going up north? Yeah, the ones heading straight forward. Based off of if you're going to cut that down along the wall. Oh, you know what? There was a gap. In one the block off. There was a gap in the center, Sarge. Oh, well, <laughs> eh, never mind. Didn't mean for you to tear it all out. No, but there was a gap in it. I didn't realize that. When I had placed them, I, I messed up. What do you mean? Because they line up with the corner. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I like lining everything up with the uh, the number there. Yeah, like I got it, right? Yep. Okay. I had a gap like this. Like, it was one square off. Yeah. I know it's at the same time that you said it. Yeah. It's all good. We'll go a couple extra here just for funsies. And then we'll come up here. Well, we need to build it first before we uh, before we go too far. And actually, we need to fill this. Uh, goodness. Why don't we just go out and then come down? I don't know what where I'm going to be putting this ramp in eventually here. Sean, I will do that uh, momentarily. It will be break time soon. Go back, Sean. You back, Sean. Kind of hard to tell which way that. Uh, Facing sometimes. But that's good for now because we want access to that that bin, of course. I want to cut that off for right now, anyway. So let's go build. Build all the wall. Because really, if I just come down and then turn my ramp and go in, I should be deep enough by then. I shouldn't have to, like, keep coming down this way. My theory is. But I don't know. We'll find out. Now let's set this up down here. Two. Five. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go not dig yet, actually, because, you know, need to build the wall, guys. Always forget that little detail first. Need to build the wall before, before digging. Always need to do that first. Hey, we'll get it. We'll get it figured out up here eventually, okay? Scrap that truck. Scrap that truck. Here we go. Now we can dig. All right. What trucks do we have on there? We're out of small ones. Good. On there. Still have way too many of them, but it's all right. Speaking of small trucks, gotta keep scrapping them, otherwise you never get all your big trucks built. Gotta scrap them all. They are like Pokemons, by the way. None glass. Eat you on glass. Okay. So that's all on big trucks now. There's still two small trucks. Where are they? Up here getting fuel. Scrap. And oh, you are in the mine. Scrap. 
Okay, so that one's all big trucks. I think this other one's all big trucks. Yelp. Here. We just need one truck, honestly. They don't use a lot of sand, I feel like. Don't tell me to run the sand conveyor belt now. I could, though. <laughs> I definitely could. Do I need to? No. But could I? You betcha. You betcha. I'll do a little uh, concrete belt upgrades. Clearly we have concrete that's just sitting here. Being all backed up, so... Not yeah, being... for what? As far as your sand, don't use a lot. Yeah. For like your concrete blocks and all of that. Yeah. Now, when you start getting into say glass production. Yep, sand is real. Bit. Actually, limestone be suffering a little bit. Up with that. I think I literally have about well, three trucks apparently on limestone. We'll go to two big trucks and see if that that should work. Problem with limestone is it is a high. <laughs> this game is called Captain of Industry. It is a factory slash city almost slash mining game. You got a little bit of everything in this game, but it is a ton of fun. Tons and tons and tons of fun. I could play this for, well, I do play it for way too many hours. This is kind of my second playthrough. I played it once, like, a lot of months ago when it first initially came out uh, in, like, early access on Steam. And then I'm replaying it now. You know, take a little break from a game for a while and then come back to it later. Uh, it's kind of how I game in general. So, uh, we're kind of back to it now and few of us in the community are blah, blah, all playing it and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, why is that? Oh, there must be a little piece in there that's not. There we go. It's like, why is that struggle busting so hard? That looks better. Now we're cooking with propane chat. Look at that. Do you notice what's happening here? Remember I just said limestone chat? Empty. I still think one excavator is enough on limestone. It's just, uh, are they finding other stuff right now? Is that what it is? Maybe a little, a little bit of dirt and regular rock and stuff. That's okay. <laughs> uh, there is no first slash third person farming now, but no, no tractors. Uh, but you do get to grow all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, right now, I have uh, potatoes, corn, and wheat I could grow. Eventually, there's soybeans, fruits, vegetables. I have vegetables right now, but there's fruit. There's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. Um, eventually. I don't have it quite all unlocked yet, but... All in due time. Okay, we're moving some coal... We might have to get another excavator down here. Because we barely have any coal in storage, so. Let me address that real quick. No bailing, no. No bailing. We'll take an excavator off of a ramp project. Bring it over here to start working on this coal a little bit all right so chat i'm gonna hit the level three um research lab we're gonna go ahead and fire that up now which will open up a whole new world for us eventually here um the big one i want to get going when i get back from my break is the uh power uh, we are having some power issues at times. 
So if I can get the uh, better steam generation going on power, uh, we won't have any more issues. So uh, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna put my game to regular speed time. And you're gonna leave? I know. Maybe I should. Maybe I should pause when I get up because my coal is gonna be an issue. But I do have two excavators on it now, so we should be okay. I don't know if I I should trust that or not though. Because <laughs> you run out of coal, you start running out of all kinds of stuff. So, oh boy. Hold on. Do we have any other excavators I could steal? Really quick. Um. We don't need three on a on a ramp project, right? Actually, there's four there. We'll take one more of those away. Uh, no multiplayer in this game, no. Alright, that should should be okay, right? Right? Maybe, probably not. Yeah, unfortunately, no multiplayer. I don't really know how that would work in the city builder builder factory i mean like satisfactory it works quite well in there but i don't know how you would do it in this kind of game um but yeah so i'm gonna take my break i'll be right back <laughs> 